Hi, Mark Anthony here to give you a basic education about sugars. And this is just the basics, uh, nothing real detailed. We get into more detail in different videos and stuff, but I uh, wanted to give you the basics about sugar. Um, now, I don't even have a white sugar here because I just don't use white sugar. Uh, I'm not even going to buy one to show you. Uh, there are different sugars here that you can buy. Uh, there's different uh, natural sugars. This is an unrefined sugar, uh, Demaria. Uh, this is just plain raw sugar. And, um, and so those are basic raw sugars that you can get, uh, which are pretty good. There's also a, a succulent, which is, uh, it's, it's kind of a, a, it's a natural sugar from sugarcane, and, and it's just a little more expensive than the other ones. Flavor-wise, it's gonna taste about the same. Xylitol is one that comes from tree bark, and uh, a lot more expensive. The nice part about xylitol is that it doesn't spike your sugar levels, so for diabetics and things like that, this is a, definitely a go-to. Dollar for dollar, that's 550 compared to 221 for this one, so you can see the, the volume that you're getting is a, is a huge difference. Uh, now, as far as what I normally get is I get this uh, organic sugar, and uh, this is a USDA non-GMO uh, organic sugar, and it's a natural sugar, so it doesn't have all the processing. Uh, that's the stuff you want to look for is, you know, just get off the white sugar that's uh, bleached and processed in such a mighty way. So, and uh, so that's the one I normally get for choice. Now we do have a couple others here, brown sugar. A lot of people think um, brown sugar is healthier for you. It's really not. It's just white sugar and molasses, okay? And that's why you get the unique flavor is from the white sugar and molasses. And, but it's still a processed item. Uh, and I do use this once in a while when I'm doing some baking because I want to get that flavor out of it. Uh, but that's your brown sugar. We also have powdered sugar. This is one of those ones that's very difficult to um, get by with using something else. Uh, it's basically just um, such a rubbing on that sugar that it just turns it into powder. Plus it has some uh, cornstarch in it. So, you know, a lot of times when you're gonna make a, just a simple uh, uh, syrup glaze or something like that, that's what you gotta use. Uh, so those are your basic sugars. Uh, I do wanna explain something though. Sugar is something you wanna use the least amount of. And the problem with these is a lot of them have a higher fructose level. Uh, you know, fructose, uh, um, high fructose corn syrup, things like that, is what you want to stay away from. You want the sugars that have higher glucose and, and, uh, levels, and um, uh, fructose is what is directly related to type 2 diabetes and obesity and, and uh, liver damage. So the least amount of fructose that you can get and the more uh, glucose, uh, your natural sugars is, is where you're going to be better off. Now, um, honey is great uh, and I buy them this big. We usually buy gallons and sometimes five gallons at a time of honey and uh, which honey actually has nutrients in it uh, and minerals and vitamins which the sugars really have nothing. Uh, there are some minor, I mean just blips on the radar screen uh, but your honey is going to be a lot better. We buy maple syrup in the gallon jugs. Uh, uh, $40 a gallon, uh, which is a lot cheaper than buying those little jars that you're going to pay $100 a gallon for. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times we'll get the, the gallons on that. Um, now, my favorites, those are sweeteners too, but they're natural sweeteners compared to manufactured sweeteners. And some of these um, sugars here, yeah, they're natural, but they're still processed, manufactured. Uh, uh, my favorites, I'll bring in my favorites in now organic coconut palm sugar. This is one of my favorites that I use uh, quite a bit at home. And, uh, and then also honey powder. Uh, you can get this honey powder. This is great. I mean, for so many, you can just do sprinklings, uh, uh, cereals, things like that. It's just a really nice, uh, put it in some of your uh, cooking dishes that you don't want the liquid from the honey. So if you don't want the liquid, and it's cost effective too, so it's not that expensive. Uh, so you got honey powder. And my favorite, of course, is the stevia. Stevia, stevia, stevia. This is by far, I will take this over any of these any day. Uh, it looks a little expensive, but if you look at this one right here, um, 622 portions in here. 
So even though you're paying $10, $8, $12 for elements like this, uh, it, it's still got a lot of bang for the buck. 16 times more powerful than sugar. So that's the one to go to. There's also liquids that you can get in the drops, uh, different flavors too for your beverages. And we've went over that quite a few times. And then I actually buy the big quantities. You know, I don't even waste my time with these little ones that much. I try to buy the big ones. And a lot of times we get the bigger jugs in. Um, because I'm telling you, this is the one that doesn't have any calories. All these have about the same amount of calories, even from the natural sugars or the uh, processed sugars. Uh, and I know there's a lot of stuff out there. Don't eat sugar, it's causing cancer. And uh, you know, that's the high fructose and um, your body produces glucose. It's transferring natural sugars into sugars that the body's gonna use for fuel. So um, you know, unless you wanna quit eating altogether, you know, you're going to uh, still be feeding cancer cells with any kind of sugar that you produce. Uh, or, you know, e yeah, eat. So uh, you wanna have a higher alkaline levels and we've talked about that quite a bit. But, um, you know, as far as sugars go, the least amount of sugars that you can use, the better. Go with those natural sugars, uh, mainly from apples, from bananas. You know, try to get those type of natural sugars, you know, rather than any of these. And then if you are gonna use these, go with the stevias. Second best would be the honeys and the maple syrups and then the natural sugars and stay away from the white sugar altogether. So anyway, it's Mark Anthony giving you just a quick little uh, lesson about uh, sugars. And uh, we, of course, we get into more detail about specifics in other uh, programs, but I uh, just wanted to give you the basics here today. So we'll see you next time in the kitchen. Mm -hmm.